We have been impressed to modify our earlier plans for the Manti Utah Temple so that the pioneer craftsmanship, artwork, and character will be preserved. Well, I was just very elated yeah. because uh, for a long time, a lot of the people have been very concerned that maybe the temple would be uh, totally gutted inside and we'd lose a lot of the beautiful artwork that's in there, as well as some of the beautiful pioneer uh, fixtures, as well as staircases and all those sorts of things. We've hired or will finalize the contract with a, a worldwide professional coming here out of the United States that will come in and work with those murals, clean them, um, preserve them, upgrade them so that they look brand new. I think it's a, just a blessing and a gift for those who've gone before us and those that will come and, st and be, still be able to see and appreciate what's gone on before. I am pleased to announce that we have been impressed to build a new temple in Ephraim, Utah. These original pioneers were asked to give up everything. My great-great-grandfather employed many workers and he paid for their immigration to come to America and to Ephraim, Utah. Now today, they're not any different than that. I mean, these are the faithful of the faithful. The Ephraim Temple will be similar in size to the Brigham City Temple. It will have four endowment rooms of 30 seats each. It will have three ceiling rooms. It will have one baptismal font. That doesn't mean it will look exactly like Brigham City, but it'll have the same capacity. And now that we're gonna have a temple in my backyard, being able to have that when you leave your home, like the, as you just mentioned, the testimonies, the conversion to the gospel, your willingness to serve, I can just see it being huge. The desire of President Nelson is that the students can walk uh, to and, and serve even for a brief time or, or perform some ordinance and then return to class. What a cool opportunity for students at Snow, especially, and the Manti Temple too. Cool to be able to reserve the pioneer heritage that it has and for us to be able to go and see the legacy that the pioneers have left. But I know, having served at the side of this dear prophet during my time in the Quorum of the Twelve, I will say I believe President Nelson has revelations from the Lord Jesus Christ. He's told us the process that happens. It's been spoken of publicly. I believe this was one of those.